when you're doing the short Vajrasattva practice, this particular one is very much um, just relying on remembering the four opponent powers. So if you keep remembering refuge, regret, remedy, resolve, refuge, regret, remedy, resolve, right? If you remember those four and the basic structure of the Vajrasattva meditation, you don't even need to be reading anything. So I'm going to lead it in such a way that um, hopefully it's then sinking in well enough that then like you're stuck on a bus, you're stuck on a train, you're on a long road trip, you're at the boarding gate, you know, you can still do your Vajrasattva practice without having the book in front of you. Um, so this is a really nice one to know. So if you want to get yourself into a nice meditation posture, nice straight back. And we'll emphasize speech tonight, but of course you could emphasize whatever you wanted to in your own practice. If you were to do this each day. So just stabilizing for a moment, a bit of body awareness. Balancing, grounding. And then refuge in bodhicitta. Sange chudon soge chunam nai janchu padu dani kapsu chi dagi jin soge pe sonam gi rola penche sange drupa shum sange chudon soge chunam na. Janchu padu dani kapsu chi, dagi jin sogi pe sonam ki, roha pinchi sange dru far shong sange, churum sogi chunam na, janchu padu dani kapsu chi, dagi chen yangi pe sonam ki, roha pinchi sange dru shong. And repeat that prayer either in the prayer form or just as the concept in whatever language you prefer. Repeat it back to yourself and let it connect. What is refuge? What is bodhicitta? How do I mix these with my mind? And bring an awareness of Vajrasattva above the crown of your head, radiant white, made of transparent light, seated on a lotus, sun and moon disc, his legs in the Vajra posture, right hand, Dorje, left hand, bell. In the prime of youth, with ornaments and scarves, And whether you have just a general impression of whiteness or the specific details, just stabilize that connection. Vajrasattva above your crown and the connection with refuge in bodhicitta.
And then under Vajrasattva's compassionate gaze, generate the power of regret. So recognizing a fault to be a fault without guilt or identification. So start by thinking of actions of the body, killing, stealing, sexual misconduct that need to be purified. Listing them to yourself. Laying them bare to Vajrasattva. And then shift, recognizing a fault to be a fault, specifically speech. And let yourself do a deep dive about today, but also in the past, actions and habits of lying, of divisive speech, harsh speech, idle gossip. Really name them.
And just noting those and then shift to recognizing faults in today and in the past, covetousness, ill will, wrong views. Look at those mental negativities, particularly those ones that you indulged and let spread and take over a moment or a day. Ones you chose not to confront. And so now we shift to the power of remedy, visualizing from Vajrasattva's heart center, a stream of white nectar flows down through the crown of our head, down and through our whole body, both filling us up and flushing us clean with radiant white light. And just hold that simple version of the, of the visualization and add this short, simple mantra of Vajrasattva 21 times. Om Vajrasattva Hum, 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 Om Vajrasattva Hum. Om Vajrasattva Hum, 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 Om Vajrasattva Hum. Om Vajrasattva Hum, Om Vajrasattva Hum. And then make a time-specific promise to oneself and the Guru Buddha Vajrasattva about what one will refrain from in the future and for how long specifically. Think in terms of something physically, verbally, and mentally that you're going to work on and how. 
and particularly emphasized speech. And when you have your small practical promises, body, speech, and mind, repeat them to yourself, reinforce them, plan how they'll play out. Being very honest and practical. Ajasapa then dissolves into light and absorbs into you. And now we can just briefly add rejoicing. And so just take a brief minute and rejoice in the positive actions that you have done today. So much practice, so much thinking, 
so much self-examination for the sake of others. This is so much purification and merit. As well as all of the seemingly simple little acts of kindness we do every day for each other, for friends and family, for coworkers. Just let yourself acknowledge and honor that. Good is done by you. Physically, verbally, mentally, good is done by you. Allow yourself to rejoice. and then expand it to think of the people in your life who are doing positive work. Even people you don't like at all, so-called enemies even, as well as friends, relatives, coworkers, neighbors, all the people in your life that you know of. Just kind of hunt around and think of the kindnesses they offer one another, the ways in which they contribute to the world. Just find a few examples and really rejoice. Good people, kind actions. and expanding to people you don't know, but know of, the different charities or social services, educators, meditators, people in the world doing good work for the welfare of others. All the ways that people try to alleviate suffering, all the ways people bring happiness to each other, allow yourself to rejoice. And some kind of good, some enactment of Buddha nature is done by all sentient beings. Even the most difficult case. Maybe it's just a generosity to their pets. Maybe it's some sort of planet awareness. 
Maybe it's just one friend they look after. But even the hardest case, there are things to rejoice in. As well as all the multitudes of wonderful things happening in the world. And then the remarkable work of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Gurus, all forms of holy beings, which show us what is possible for this mind of ours. With every breath working for sentient beings, every movement, every word for the welfare of sentient beings, we too will become like this. How wonderful it is there are already beings who have realized the path. May they all show the aspect of health and long life and may we practice according to their advice. And we dedicate. Chanchu semcho rinpo she ma ke panam ke gyuchi ke pan yampa me pa hing gone gondu pa toni dawa rinpo she ma ke panam ke gyuchi Ke pa nyam pa me pa hi, gone gondu pe wa sho. Dedicating with bodhicitta, dedicating remembering emptiness. And you can relax your attention. Okay. So that very simple form, um, if it's not quite easy enough to do all by yourself off book, I'm sure just a couple more goes you could, but it's nice to have in your practice pocket for um, busy times or times that aren't conducive for reading. So um, I'll see you tomorrow morning and um, have a beautiful night. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>